We're now moving into an era where people need to be spending time looking after themselves on a continual basis. We're talking about the management of diabetes, the management of oral health, for example. And that means to say that people need to understand not just what to do, but why it's important for them to do it. So health literacy is, I think, an incredibly important component for the design of modern healthcare. We decided to carry out a health literacy review um, because we saw it as a really important part of being a patient and whānau centred organisation. Our health was a really um, neat opportunity to, to test it as, a, as a, one of our first services. The services are free to young people up until 18 and often we know that when young people transition from under 18 to being adults and actually having to look after their own teeth, um, without the sort of school services available, it's very difficult to get young people engaged in services. So it was a really great opportunity to, to test it with a potentially challenging uh, population group. The way that we communicate, making sure that our messages are simple and clear, um, sending letters that people can actually read and understand, um, giving information in different formats, all of those kinds of things actually add to health literacy. So. Um, with the providers through this review we've identified some really tangible practical ways that we can improve some of those things and give our workforce um, you know, better tools and techniques as well. Doing the process of the review really helped us think about all the six dimensions of health literacy and we realised that the best way for our organisation to use this is to take a service by service approach, um, looking at each service across all the six dimensions rather than for instance trying to look at one dimension across the whole organisation. What I quickly appreciated was the potential for our service to be less than satisfactory in health literacy terms. Um, our patient demographic um, ranges over all socio-economic groups, multiple ethnicities and a widely divergent patient groups. Um, all with their unique requirements in terms of communication. The health literacy reviews were incredibly valuable for us as an organisation. We got lots of insights about ourselves, our services and our health professionals and how we work. Probably one of the most critical insights was how we work across the healthcare system. But we also actually learned that um, oral health messages and health literacy isn't just about um, a young person seeing the dentist in that contact. Actually, oral health messages need to be part of their general healthcare um, experience, whether they're seeing their GP, um, or um, particularly for children, they're seeing well child nurses or Plunkett nurses as well. Um, and when they're unwell in the hospital, oral health has got to be a critical part of all those experiences. So that when a young person or a child or a parent is hearing those messages from their GP, their well child nurse, their dentist, or even if they're in hospital for specialist care that's impacting on their oral health, that the messages are the same, they're clear and they're concise, and we're all um, playing our part in reinforcing those messages.